This is the actual car from 69, driven by Parnelli Jones. Go, Parnelli! Go, baby, go! Out of gas! Come on, baby! Come on! KW makes the perfect suspension for every demand. Find them in the description below. What's up, people? I am here today with this incredible Mustang. That is the actual 1969 Mustang of Parnelli Jones that he raced in that series. The just incredible battles that happened in this car against guys like Mark Donahue. It's just so incredible. I've always admired these cars, the way they look, the way they sound, watching them slide around the track. And today is my opportunity to go drive this. And we're doing this because upcoming November 11th through the 14th is the Velocity Invitational at Laguna Seca. It's going to be an incredible new vintage race. I think it's absolutely the future of vintage racing where it's going. And I'm so excited that here on YouTube, I get to bring this experience to you today with the 360 degree camera. But guys, this is the actual car from 69, driven by Parnelli Jones. And damn it, I am so excited. Let's drive this thing. Guys, the 1969 Boss 302 Mustang of Harnelli Jones. This is the real car, the car that he was fighting for the championship with Mark Donahue. Absolute incredible piece of American racing history. Um, certainly a very valuable car, but today I don't care about that. I don't care about car shows and concours and auctions. We're at a racetrack. I've got a racing suit on and this is a racing car and that's all that matters that we get to share it with you today and do this together. And that's, that makes me so exciting. I am so excited. So this engine, they're telling me to shift at eight grand. That's insane. So I'm just thinking about all that. The pedals are laid out a little funny. I'm trying to figure out how I want to toe heel this. I might have to brake with my heel and bump with my toe. It's a little backwards than what I'm used to, but uh, let's give it a go. All right, we got, there you go. Nutri, you got my power there? Yep, I got you. Thanks, sir. Deal. Oh, the, I forgot to tell you the, Yep, this here, is that's that your, reverse, that's lockout? reverse lockout? Pull it up for reverse? Pull it up for reverse lockout. Got it, thank you. Do. Hold it all the way down, it's got two big carburetors on it. Yeah, it gets... It's real easy. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna lie. The pedal spacing is bizarre. They're gonna get used to that. All right, come on, Casey, pay attention. The 60s, you gotta be a badass. There you go, now I can tow heel. You gotta get your foot wet. I'll tell you what. Hey, Audi, move. So the reverse lockout was not on last time. Damn, come on, baby. Wow. That's a freaking clutch. Holy crap, you guys. Damn. All right, so we're going to have fun with the minis, and I'm going to be a very good boy and not squish them. And they're not going to be very good boys, and they're going to show me what's up. Woo! Holy crap. Oh, God damn it, I love this so much. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Guys, so water temp's good, it's under 200. Oil temp's like 230, of course we let it cool down a little bit. Right now, cruise about 3,700 RPMs. We got 55 oil pressure, and uh, fuel pressure was about seven, now it's five, four and a half, four. 
Now five, five and a half, six. That's weird. Must be running out of gas. Anyway, oh my gosh, what an incredible, incredible car. <laughs> They're gonna be mad at me because I didn't play with the minis. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. The minis wouldn't play with me. I had to go faster. Yes. Well, guys, that was my go in this incredible Trans Am Mustang from that time period. 1969, Parnelli Jones. Do I need to say anything else? It was awesome to drive. The pedals were laid out a little funky, so it required a little bit of methodical thought to how to put your foot on the brake pedal, get it done, and hit those uh, downshifts. Uh, this engine, they build it to like a lot of RPMs. Read that thing, eight grand. 8,000 RPMs, 1969 carbureted. That thing was wild. First time we took it out, I was backwards on how to do the reverse lockout, and there was no reverse lockout. So sometimes I'd come over to second, and there'd be no gear there. So that was the difficulty I had, but we figured that out quick, um, and it was sweet. One of the things that was the most fun about driving this was, uh, it's got discs on the front, drums in the rear. And as the brakes heat up, the fronts would start to fade a little bit, and the rears would be braking better. So if you got on real hard, you downshift too hard, with your toe heel or too high in the RPMs, you're gonna start locking up those rear tires and uh, get sliding in there. So you just really have to feel the car, you feel the tires, you feel the chassis, you feel the momentum in the track, and you have to understand and like vibe with what's going on with the brakes. And, and it makes it exciting to, to brake and work around those changing conditions and temperatures and get it done. And I just loved it too much. <laughs> We're supposed to go play with the minis more, but tell you what, I just, I couldn't wait around to play with them. We had to go and have a little bit of fun. For us, a uh, gentleman in the orange one, he was getting it done, having a great time. He was driving really well. And I was enjoying pushing this a little bit more, but again, not my car, being very respectful. Um, and uh, just so awesome to just get to enjoy this history. You know, and that's what you're going to see at Velocity Invitational Laguna Seca coming up November 11th through the 14th. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy that vintage race. I think it's hugely a future of vintage racing. They're even having a cycle cart event there, I believe, which I'm going to take a little credit for suggesting that. Really neat. Guys are running go-karts. They're basically like little scale pre-war front engine race cars. So just a lot of fun for the whole family. And um, just what a great experience today being part of history you know a lot of people would say something like this belongs in a museum a lot of people would say oh what would that get at an auction oh let's take this to a concord nah forget that it's a race car it's meant to be on the racetrack to show you guys fun stuff like this sliding sideways at 8,000 rpms and i'm really glad that we had the opportunity to bring this to you so hope to see you at velocity invitational please click that bell of course subscribe and I'll bring you some more cool stuff. See you guys next time. Well, there's only one racing suit I've always dreamed of owning, and that's a Hinchman. Since 1925, Hinchman Racing Uniforms has been supplying suits to drivers ranging from Dale Earnhardt, Mario Andretti, and even Steve McQueen in the movie Le Mans. So guys, when it's time to go racing and you guys wanna be safe and look amazing, let's go classic American. Get yourself a Hinchman.